Hello, hello everyone, Sean Astrom here. In today's video, I wanted to discuss being a tablet user and using this magical tool as a mouse, which is how I've been working uh, for the last, gosh, I don't know, nine years or so. Um, but one of the things I found is that there are certain applications that don't work that well with a tablet. And so um, one of those applications, the main application uh, that I wanted to talk about today is Blender. Um, so yeah, Blender by default, the navigation is very tricky. It requires a third mouse button and a right click and a middle click. And you can assign those buttons to this pen, which work well. But when you're navigating the viewport, having to click on those buttons so frequently can be really bad for your fingers wrists, hands, etc. So the beautiful thing about this pen is that when you tap it onto the surface of a tablet, it acts as a left click. So I'm gonna hop into Cinema 4D and show you one of the things I love about the way Cinema 4D's navigation works. So Cinema has a couple different ways of na navigating, um, but the, the best that I learned early on that I thought I would share with you guys is this one, two, three navigation. So up here in the upper right hand window of our viewport, we have this little hand, this little zoom dolly icon, and then an orbit icon. And if you just click these guys, you can see that you get your um, panning around right here. If you click and hold this, you get your zooming. And if you click and hold this, you get your rotating around. Um, so. What Cinema does is internally it assigns a shortcut to these and that shortcut is the one, two, three key. So if I hold down the one key, that gives me panning, two key zooming, and three key orbiting. And, and I should say this is with a left click. So with the tablet, I'm holding down the one key, clicking on the tablet surface with the pen tip, you know, panning around, zooming, orbiting uh, as well when you go into the shader view it also works so one key two key for zooming one key for panning and of course you also have the alt left click orbiting alt right click zooming and alt middle click orbiting um, and so that's a pretty standard navigation that you find in other programs. Um, many programs I use, uh, like here's Substance Designer, for example. I do that navigation in here with, with the Alt key, right click, allows me to zoom in and out, and then Alt key, middle click, allows me to pan around. And this is pretty standard across a lot of applications. Um, so it's also kind of a preferred um, navigation method. Now, in order to set this up for many programs, you do have to go into the Wacom tablet settings and you know assign the middle click for a lot of programs. So you can see I do that for Blender, Fusion, Substance Designer, and many more. And the tricky thing with Blender, though, is inside of Blender, here I'm going to adjust this to fit the record window a little bit better. Inside of Blender, the issue we run into is the sheer massive list of default key maps. Um, and if I go to the key binding here, and if I don't know if this works, but if I type in Alt, we can see that there is this list of shortcuts that require the Alt key. And so this is not great. And um, the issue with this is if we wanted to somehow set up sort of an alt key navigation similar to what you find in Cinema or uh, Substance Designer, for example, or Maya, um, it's really tricky to set that up. Now, of course, you can go in here and there's industry compatible, this preset which ships with Blender. But as I'm sure you may or may not know, many Blender uh, tutorial folks out there suggest sticking with the default hotkeys, which I agree with. Um, but I was messing around with this last night and I did manage to set this up so that the same and my preferred navigation method is working here inside of Blender. So if I hold down the one key now, I'm uh, panning around. If I hold down the two key left click, 
zoom is working beautifully and the three key left click orbiting around and and this is amazing and i was actually really thrilled to get this set up in blender um so there are several other places where I, I was also able to get this navigation working. Um, so if we go into like an Im image editor view, we can also number two key left click is allowing me to zoom. One key, key left click is allowing me to pan. And then we have um, the newer uh, geometry nodes editor. If I bring this guy in, let me just uh, throw here on my cube real quick, uh, geometry nodes modifier. And let's see here. So two key left click is allowing me to zoom in. One, one key left click is allowing me to pan around. Now, why this is so important is we're removing the need to click on these buttons completely. And that's where seriously, like the, <laughs> the least amount you can click on these buttons, the better. Um, you know, we want this to behave like a pencil where we just touch the tip on the paper to activate it. Um, so yeah, back in Blender here, I'm gonna try and run through real quick how I was able to set this up um, without, well, I can always reload my settings here. But um, currently I'm, I'm really just using Blender as a kind of secondary 3D tool alongside Cinema 4D, which is definitely my primary. Um, but you know, there's some, there's some cool stuff going on with Blender and it's fun to, you know, to be able to, to use it when I need it. So um, you would think maybe you'd go into the navigation settings to, to tweak all this stuff, but it's all within this key map um, settings list here. And, it, and it's a big list. So I'll just try and run through these quickly so that you could too maybe set this up if you're a tablet user. So the first thing is we probably need to dive into the 3V, 3D view settings. And then within here, we have 3D view global. So if you just twirl that open, you'll see there's a massive list here. Uh, but don't worry too much because once you start to see where these things are, it's not that bad. Um, but the first one that I've assigned here, you can see here is rotate view. Um, and let me actually, I wonder if it'd be easier for me to show this by just switching to the default here real quick. So let me, so here's the default. So I switched this to Blender. And if you're going to create uh, your own custom key bindings, you can just hit this little plus key and that will sort of create a new config and you can get in there and start tweaking it. Um, but so in the 3D view, if we go into rotate view, um, we want that to be the, th the three button and left mouse click so in this case if you tap on this little box it will, it will prompt you to press any key and so i'll do a left mouse click and then for the modifier key you can actually assign the three button or the three key rather here in this empty box um, so if i minimize this and now test this out holding down the three key left mouse click and that is allowing me to orbit around let me uh bring this back up and you kind of just have to get in here and go through these and test them. And it's strange too, like you'll see duplicates and I'm not, maybe a Blender de expert out there could enlighten us <clears throat> as to why there's so many duplicates. Maybe, I think there's, cause there's multiple ways. Like if you're on a laptop, I think there's, you know, you could sign this to work, you know, differently for a laptop, but I'm not hundred percent sure on that. Um, so in this one as well, I would just do uh, left mouse click, hit this guy, hit the number three, and we got that working. Um, so pan view, so that's this one here, left mouse click, hit this, number one key. And now you can see that panning is working one key, left mouse click, and panning is working. Now, let's see here. Uh, I don't wanna go through this whole list uh, just cause it is quite lengthy. So instead I'm gonna low back in uh, or actually switch back over to my cinema one, two, three, and we can just look at them through this list. So there is the pan view right there. And here's zoom view. So two key left mouse. And for the 3D view, I think that actually is about it. Um, the other places that we wanna change this would be the 2D view. 
And so in the 2D view, we have pan view. There's again, two entries for this, not 100% clear as to why. Even if you look at the code here or whatever, like internal description, it's the same. Um, so I've assigned, you know, one key left mouse click here. Uh, for these two, going down to the bottom here, zoom left, or two key left mouse, left mouse, two key. Um, so let's bring in a image editor. And now this might actually be slightly different. Um, let me go in here, preferences. The 2D view, what I, what I realized is there's also this global image view. <laughs> so you have 2D view and image. So I've changed it in here as well. Pan view, one, one. And then let's see here. Zoom view right there, two, two, two key left mouse. Um, I think you guys kind of are getting the idea. So this is working in our image view as well as like the UV editor. You can see, uh, Holding down the one key left mouse is allowing me to pan around two key zoom and it's working in geometry nodes as well. So some of you uh, blender folks out there are probably saying, well, but what about when we go into our edit mode, the hotkeys for vertex select edge select and face select by default are assigned to the one, two, three keys. And so for a solution to this, I went in and changed these to four, five, and six. So I'm, I'm pressing down four, five, six, four, five, six, and you can see that that is working beautifully. And I would think that'd be a pretty easy adjustment to make um, for modeling. For those of you, maybe, maybe you're tablet users and you, and you struggle with the amount of button clicks you have to do with the default um, navigation and hopefully um, this could be a solution. So, you know, very easily this allows me to go from edge mode, face mode, point mode with the four, five, and six keys. Now, I realized as well in UV editing, we also have a fourth option here, which I assign the seven key. Um, so this here is UV select island um, mode. But again, this works well in here. Four, four, five, six for the different modes here. Let's see here, point, yeah, point, edge, and face, and then island mode. And so far this is working great. Um, and then the only other big kind of gotcha is there are still a few other key maps that are assigned to these keys. So again, um, if you filter by key binding, go in here, one, type in the one key, you can see this list is pretty lengthy, but it's not nearly as long as the alt key list, which is just, you know, about a mile long. Um, and that, so that's why I really think this is a good alternative navigation, especially if you're a Cinema 4D user and you want to jump into Blender occasionally. Um, having this working in here is, is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, but so to alleviate some of the conflicts, which I wish it did this by default, but uh, it doesn't, unfortunately. Um, for the time being, I've gone in and just disabled many of these defaults. So like in object mode, apparently if you hit the one key, it hides the collection, although it doesn't seem that that works um, even by default. So there's a lot of little assignments here, like here's the two key, you can see there's loads of assignments and I've just temporarily disabled them for now by unchecking them here, like particle. Like I haven't done any particles in Blender. Um, so I've, you know, disabled that. Uh, let's see here, three key. I've gone in and disabled all the other previous assignments to the three key that were conflicting. Um, and then I guess last but not least, I should probably show you guys where uh, the normal assignments for point mode, edge mode, and face mode are. Um, so if you go back into 3D view, there's this mesh category. And inside of mesh global, by default, you have these select modes here. So you can see where I've changed them to four, five, and six. Again, by default, they're set to one, two, and three. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I really wanted to share this because, um, yeah, I mean, it's, in my opinion, this is like the most brilliant way to navigate 
the viewport. It's how I've been working in cinema for forever and it's come second nature. And yeah, the ability to set this up in Blender is pretty magical. And, and the nice thing is, you know, we're still retaining, you know, 99% of these default key mappings. Um, you know, so yeah, uh, it's, it's not like a drastic change. And I would really hope to see in the future, maybe Blender has a specific mode called tablet mode where it creates some sort of alternate navigation that doesn't require you to click on the mouse buttons so much. Um, anyway guys, this video is pretty lengthy for such a simple topic, but I really wanted to bring it up and show that it is possible inside of Blender. Thanks so much for checking this out and we will see you guys in another video very soon.